Hey, what's up everyone? This is Bryce with Man Talk episode 12. I have a lot to cover today, but I'm just gonna jump right into it. I've always been really fascinated with death and I don't tell a lot of people that. I remember as a young kid when Google had first come out, we found this site that had pictures of people who had died in like horrific ways. And although it was traumatizing, I found it really fascinating. I was curious about it. And so I began researching the Holocaust and wars and Mount Everest because a lot of people had died climbing Mount Everest. And I was really curious about that. And one thing I learned while I was researching Mount Everest is, is just the way in which people die, which I thought was, was interesting. So when people are climbing Mount Everest, they're already in a lot of pain. So they're feeling tired and they're feeling hungry and they're feeling cold. And when they, when their body begins to shut down, they begin to get comfortable again and they get warm and they want to lay down and take a nap and just go to sleep. And sometimes they even take off layers of clothing because they're just so comfortable. And this is the point at which they're about to die. And the way that tie, this ties into what I want to talk about today is that if you're feeling pain in your life somewhere, I want you to take it as a good sign that you can still feel because this is the same energy that, that motivates you to make a change in your life. This is the same energy that you use as a guidepost to know that something that you're doing is no longer serving you. And on the flip side, if you're a man, and a lot of men feel like this and it's really sad, if you're a man that feels numb, you're in a really rough spot right now. If, if you're not able to connect with what's going on with you emotionally, if you're not able to connect with what's going on with other people, your partners, um, what's going on with life and you just have the blinders on, your spirit is literally dying right now and it needs to be resuscitated. And the way to do that is to move towards the pain. It's, counterintu it's counterintuitive, I know, but you need to move towards your pain to feel again and so that you can use that energy to, to make changes and, 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 and to get motivated again and to get unstuck. And the way that you do that is you need to get help if you can't do it yourself. A lot of men don't know how to do this. We weren't modeled it. We're conditioned to stay in this robotic way and it's not serving us at all. And if you're in a relationship where you have a man in your life who's numb, what I see so often is that people don't want to burden the man with their pain so they don't show up honestly. They don't show their anger and their frustration and their sadness. And what you're doing is, is you're, you're fueling this numbness by you not showing up. The best way to help a man who's numb is to bring your pain and show them their pain. Because in doing that, it helps light up their pain. And this is the pain that helps them move, um, move the ball to get in touch with how they actually feel again. So if you're, if you're in relationship with some man that's numb, I challenge you to bring your pain and to be honest about how you really feel and what you really think, even if it's messy. And if you're a man who's numb, you got to get help, man. Like no one can really do it for you. You can't sit around and hope that someone just comes along and like magic wand and, and changes your life. You have to do it and you got to reach out for help. This is something that we do in our men's groups. We lean into the pain. It's super powerful, life-changing stuff. And if you're just a man who's feeling like he's in a lot of pain and you also feel resourced, um, yeah, go out there and do something about it. You know, same thing. Like you don't want to stay in pain long enough to go numb. Because that, that's the point at which your spirit begins to die. So that's the man talk for today is reach out for help, show up authentically. And we got another men's group starting in March. So if you're interested in that, click the link below and you can read more about it.